Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to take out the SMD components, the surface mount diodes. So you can see here there's um, very tiny uh, resistors and capacitors and even microcontrollers, right? The integrated circuits. So we're going to take it apart and put them away. It looks something like this. So here are already some that I took out. I don't know if you can see that. Really tiny. There's hundreds of here in my... I could fit hundreds of these little, um, this is actually a micro resistors that I was able to take out, take out these uh, surface mount micro resistors. You can see it's really tiny. Okay, there's hundreds of them in here. Okay, so you'll need safety glasses, uh, tweezer, magnifying glasses, portable butane torch, and soldering iron. Like this one here, this is very important, as, a, as well as a container. Okay, so you need a container to put these uh, micro circuits. They're very tiny, actually. They're micro components, is SMD components. They're so tiny, so you need to be careful not to lose any of them. Okay, and then you put them in the vial, and you want to label them as well, right? Okay, let's get started. I'll show you how right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take out these um, capacitor, this SDM. Uh, capacitor very tiny like a little speck here there's this light br uh, uh, brown and there's a gray one as well here the bigger ones okay we're going to take that one out and there's also beside this there's a black little um, one here it has a number on 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 top of it you only can see it that's why you need magnifying glasses to look at it okay um, those ones are resistor okay so SDM resistor very small micro resistors and then we're going to try to take out these integrated circuits as well but let's start with these ones because these are one are easier to take out. So what you need is, of course, is the soldering iron. Now it's very quite easy. Once it's hot, right? The soldering iron's hot. You just put it on one of the side and you hold it and just lift it out. There we go. See, I can see coming out. And have something to a plate to uh, drop it. There we go. I got one out. There, just fall right off. Here's another one. Okay, just put it on one side. It will heat up the element, the soldering element, and it will just drop right off. Okay, put a little bit of tension on one side. Yeah. There we go. And it will drop right off. Here's another one. Now, how do you know it's capacitors? Well, it's it actually has labels on it. If you can, it, I don't know if you can see that. Say C8, C6, and all those. These are symbolized for capacitors. Okay, there it is. I got a few capacitor. Oh, they're very tiny. Here's my finger. You can see how tiny it is compared to how small it is. Look at that, a speck. Okay. Right. and then um, get a empty empty plastic bottle or glass bottle whatever you want and just put it in here so you can see I have hundreds in here already let me put this in there okay so you take a tweezer and just pick it up there we go you can also pour it but I prefer to pick it up individually you know just a feel of satisfaction that you did the work there we go there we go done the next step, of course, is to do the other um, resistor as well. Resistor is probably easy as well. Um, let me show you. <clears throat> also using the iron soldering. And remove that out. So there's a bigger one. This is a bigger resistor here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so here I have two uh, resistors. This is the bigger one. I don't know if you can see that. So here's my fingers. And there it is. This is the bigger one. Now I'm going to measure its uh, resistance and it's saying around 10 ohms. Okay, I could go more accurate if I set my setting, but it's about 10 ohms. And then this very tiny one, I don't know if you can see that. Here's my fingers again and there it is right here, right? That's why I use a white piece of paper so you can see it and I measure it. And even though this is tiny resistors, it has a resistance of 391 ohms. So it's not really based on the size, right? 
or how, how much resistance it is. It's just based on the number on, on top of that. I can see this one actually says 100, right? So it's say 10 ohms. You can check uh, websites on how to read it. It really means 10 to the power of 0 for the last uh, digit and 10 representing 10 ohms. So 10 times 10 to the 0, which is 10 ohms. Okay, because 10 to the 0 is 1. So 10 times 1. This one I cannot read. I would have, that's why I would use a uh, magnifying glass. Let me see what it reads here. Oh my goodness, it does say 391. Okay, Cameron, I see, I see 391. I think it's 391. Let me see what, I re what it is it again. So it did say 391 on it. And it is, oops. Yeah, 391. Perfect. Good reading. Uh, yeah, it is 391. So this one, this one here, actually this one I can be, I could use this for my LED lights. So I'm going to put an LED light bulb, the tiny one, right? And hook up to my lithium battery, 3.7 lithium battery. Put this integrated into the circuit with this thing here. I should be able to create a uh, flashlight that will last for hundreds of hours using this because the current that's going to run on it, on this little tiny speck, of resistors will give it a very tiny current and uh, with one let's say light LED light bulb a very tiny one I'll, we're gonna do that project later on and uh, it will last for hundreds of hours so I'll show you next project on how to use this small integrated uh, sorry small SMD um, uh, resistor or micro resistors here and make it into some kind of project okay so we'll find an application for it okay let's now m remove the other integrated circuits and microprocessors okay I'll show you how the next the next step is going to be using the uh, butane torch okay because they are harder to remove with the um, iron uh, soldering iron okay I'm gonna try to remove these see if we could do it okay so we're gonna try to remove this integrated circuit number five it said here so I'm gonna do that so make, make sure you have your safety goggle on and your tweezer ready. Right. Now this is gonna be hard actually to so we just place it on two. <clears throat> Alright, and here we go. Oh it worked, look at that. There we go. Super easy. There you go, I hope I didn't damage anything, but it doesn't look like it, I damaged anything, okay? So you'd only do it for five seconds. Now I would recommend before you remove these integrated circuits that you take away the, um, as you can see here, the, um, the resistor and capacitor first, okay? Because they're so tiny, they'll just get lost along the way. So you want to remove those first, and then um, remove the integrated circuits, okay? If you're using a torch, you can just take it out. We melt the. There we go. The soldering, and there we go. It comes out like this. See? Now, hopefully, you didn't damage the chip. There we go. I got a chip by uh, using butane torch. I was able to collect them. Okay. Let's get now. Let's try to get this one. So just heat it on the surface, and it will melt away on the side. And we'll just slide right off. There we go. There we go, it comes right out. Like that. See? Very easy. Hopefully you didn't damage any of your uh, circuit board. The only thing is the pin might be, you know, bent. Okay, so that's why you have to heat it up. But don't heat it too much you might damage the chip just enough to pull it out okay so I managed to get three chips out the integrated chips and uh, the only problem is I guess I can still read it this one say pick 16 C 54 C 04 slash SO and then it has a Motorola symbol 0 2 2 3 H 2 2 2 so I have to look it up on the internet with that uh, stand for here's another one. This one is um, it's harder to read. This one 
is a Tashi integrated chip. It's uh, 912. Oops, can't read reading backwards here. It's I have to use a mag magnifying glasses to do this. Let's see. Okay, so I cut it out and I got the pin still intact, which is good, so I can solder it and I can make anything I want here. For example, you could see this, I could make potential holes here and there may be holes in here as well. And I could mount the, um, the SMD chips into here, the surface mount uh, diodes like resistors and um, capacitors. Okay. Here's another one. This one, I kept all the the pin intact, right? The only problem, of course, is uh, I know. Well, this is gold. <laughs> okay, so here's all my collection of integrated circuits. Here, this one is my uh, transistors, micro transistors. This is uh, resistors that I collected from these circuits. Here we go. Here's our capacitors and all these microchips or integrated circuits. And here's the uh, integrated circuits. Okay. A couple of them. Pretty cool. It might be worth something. I don't know. You can figure out what it does, I guess. Right. The one thing I like about these uh, integrated circuits, they have only, you know, between 4 to 12 so most likely they're not that complicated to figure out thanks for watching educate